Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're back with another sandbox video in Malin Zoo. This is the second episode where we finish up the dome with a Komodo dragon habitat and a saltwater crocodile habitat. And I am really excited to show this to you guys. This is uh, basically what I want to say is if you build a dome, you kind of should start building the habitats first, even though that's also a bit challenging, I think. But for some reason, every time, like also we did during the beta, every time you feel like mm, it's maybe just slightly a little tiny bit too small. And that's exactly the same thing with here. Not that the animals mind, because the animals are like, yeah, no, I'm perfectly fine with the amount of space I got. But just for your eye, you feel like, hmm, maybe. Maybe they should have gotten a little bit more space in their habitat. So yeah, I'm not really sure to be honest, like how you would do it. I think for some reason just to try and build the habitat first and then build a dome or building around it. I think that would work a little bit better just so you have the total freedom. But not that I'm not happy with how it turned out. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. We build a waterfall in this habitat for the commodity dragon and we have lots of babies I'm not really sure if I got them in these cinematic shots in the end but I did do a live stream yesterday on Twitch I know I didn't want to uh, stream on Twitch yesterday I wanted to plan it on Thursday which I'm still going to do but because the franchise mode didn't really work out during my live stream on YouTube I was like oh, I really want to play some franchise mode so I was like okay you know what I'm just going live on Twitch and I played some franchise mode and I think we're just gonna wait and see on Saturday Saturdays what we will stream. We might just build in Malin Zoo or we just do a little bit of that franchise mode park. Again, I I think that it's better at least for Twitch to just have one series there going on and not have too much of progress on YouTube. I don't think it matters that much if we do one or two hours a week on YouTube during that park. But maybe you would like to see more of Malin Zoo, just the sandbox mode. So I will keep it to you guys. What would you like to see? on Saturday streams? Would you like to see more of the franchise mode or would you like to see more of just building in general in the sandbox park? Let me just give you guys the choice and let me know in the comment section down below of course what you would like to see in my Saturday streams. And now I am really curious because hopefully you guys were all able to finally play Planet Zoo today and yesterday and I am really curious like what are you guys playing? Playing. What is your most favorite animal? Are you happy with everything? Like are your expectations fulfilled? Are there things you're not happy about? I want to hear all of your comments and ideas of what you feel about Planet Zoo. What is your most favorite animal? What is your most favorite baby animal you have seen so far? And have you been playing the scenario? I'm really curious to hear about that. And what do you guys think of the scenario? And I really feel like you can get a lot of inspiration of the parks they've made for the scenario mode. I think they're really nice. I think really, as I said in the first episode, they did a great job building those parks and it took them, I think they tweeted about that for like 600 hours or something like that so yeah you can imagine how much time it will cost to just build one park if you really want to put in a lot of creativity. I'm also very sorry for my voice but yesterday I have been talking so much during my live stream and it has been such a long day and I just woke up sounding a little bit weird <laughs> but I just really wanted to put out this episode for you guys and as mentioned uh, during my live stream on YouTube I will definitely give early access again to all my faith members you guys are really amazing and thank you guys so much for your support and the early access videos will return this week but it's all super hectic so these kind of first weeks of launch and with all the live streams and stuff and I still haven't really made up my mind like how am I gonna do this how I'm gonna really make a schedule for you guys I'm gonna upload daily but like for myself like what do I want to upload today what do I want to upload the next day like those kind of things I'm still debating a little bit about 
about that. So the YouTube and Twitch schedule, when I really know exactly how it will work, I will put it on my website. The link is in the description, of course, with my YouTube schedule. But for now, I'm just a little bit like, <laughs> how am I going to do this? What am I going to do exactly? So it's a little bit finding the right way and Oh, yeah, I'm just I'm just really excited that the game is finally out and we can finally play and I'm so happy and I'm so much enjoying franchise mode again because I was really like I mentioned in my live stream I think like the sandbox mode is okay but it's, it's just no no challenge like it's a lot of fun to have everything unlocked so you can really check out everything and learn the pieces and stuff but in the end I just really really enjoyed franchise mode and I missed it so much so that I was able yesterday evening to finally play it I was like oh yeah back to franchise mode I love it so much and I really enjoy it so I'm really excited to also start a series on YouTube for you guys so hopefully you guys will like that too and I really just can't wait to really get a close-up of all the animals and just really enjoy their animations and stuff if you have seen my let's play franchise mode series uh, during the beta where we have like there's so many surprises episode with Pumbaa getting so many babies and all other animals are mating and ringtail lemurs fighting with each other like slapping each other in the face it was so hilarious and I'm just really excited to really look more to all the little animations the interactions with each other like we have seen it in the launch trailer you see like the timber wolves and the babies uh, really play with each other you see like a baby cup rolling I, I, I'm, I think that will be in the game, right? I'm not really, Frontier is not really known for like making animations in a launch trailer that aren't in the game. Like many times their trailers are really accurate to what the game really looks like. So yeah, I really hope to see those kind of animations. I'm really excited for that to just explore the game with you guys and really take the time to really enjoy this. So yeah, we're building a underwater viewing gallery right now for the saltwater crocodile and especially during this part you really can tell that it is a little bit too small. I really would love to see the underwater viewing gallery being a little bit bigger and give it a little bit more space but in the end I'm really happy with the end result of how the overall viewing gallery and above with the terrain look so I'm, I'm actually really happy with that but just to give it a little bit more space I would highly recommend just to start building the habitat first so you know exactly that you have enough space so it will look as perfect as you want it to be if you really go for creativity of course also, uh, the coverage, I remember playing the very first time building in this zoo and I really felt like every animal I added into my zoo that the coverage has been changed and during the gameplay I noticed that that didn't count for all the animals so some animals still don't like a lot of coverage so I think it was just coincidental that some animals do like more coverage than the others. I didn't really dive into it that much so maybe some of the animals really in real life also like the more plain more boring areas i'm not really sure about that but in the end for this animal i uh, yeah i added maybe a little bit too much but the good thing to know is that as long as the welfare is above 66 percent so like the total welfare of the animals your animals will still be able to breed but we also noticed yesterday during my live stream that the higher the welfare is the higher the chances will get that your animals will be able to breed so still you might notice and I think that's also the same for like my warthogs during the franchise mode as soon as I remove a few of the trees now it could also be the research that I've done for them but as soon as you remove the trees and the welfare went up they got so many babies so I don't really know could also have been an update so very coincidental um but yeah overall it also 
says in like the left top menu the question mark i really highly recommend you guys to watch that because there are a lot of controls and stuff in there like shortcuts and a lot of information and i also read there that the breeding as long as their welfare is 66 percent they will be able to get babies so if everything is like 100 percent or almost 100 percent you're totally good so it doesn't really matter when the plans are like lowered and you put in too many plants and bushes in the habitat as long as the rest is green i kept saying it during the franchise mode but back then we didn't really knew that it was like a minimum of 66 percent but if you can have it like around 70 or maybe 80 percent like the total welfare i think that should be definitely doable for your animals to still get babies in and you to be able to make a beautiful habitat of which you can decorate it however you want I do have to say, like, obviously I was googling a lot of pictures for inspiration for the habitats and in the beginning when I knew that Planet Zoo was coming out, I really felt like, oh my god, I really wanna make it more realistic and those kind of things, but the more I look at pictures, like, a lot of pictures are pretty boring. Is that just me or, not, like, not the pictures of course, but, like, a lot of habitats, especially for, like, older zoos, they have a lot of concrete and it, it makes sense because concrete is used a lot in zoos because it's like easy to clean they take like i think it's called a fire hose or anything like that or like a water hose and they just spray that on a concrete floor and they will be able to clean it right so there is definitely a purpose for a zoo to do that but for me i feel like this is a game and i just really want to have the feeling of giving them a natural habitat like more that you would see in real life when you would see them in the wild uh, so I'm still a little bit debating like how do you guys approach that how do you guys feel if you start building a zoo are you really going for like the recreations of zoo habitats or do you really feel like no I want to have it more of the natural approach like you would see in safari parks I think in safari parks you see more of the natural environment even though it's still not really super natural like in the Netherlands you can never really get the feeling of of a African savanna maybe because we just don't have that biome like the hot weather so not all trees you would see in Africa for example that would be able to grow in the Netherlands so it still doesn't really feel like you're in Africa I don't know I don't know I'm just really curious how you guys feel about this game and like are you going for a more realistic zoo feeling or more for a realistic real life habitat I'm really curious to hear your thoughts about that like obviously we can have like a mixture of both feelings so like we did during the beta we had like that inside habitat which really looked more of the realistic way only it didn't have the concrete because I just felt like no I don't want concrete on my flooring it feels so sad for those animals you know but yeah it is realistically what they do in real life zoos to clean it better so yeah I'm just really honestly curious what you guys think also for the next franchise series i want to do just mainly on youtube or only on youtube i really would like you guys to participate more like obviously during the series we will do a lot of polls like what animal habitat should we do next but it's gonna be a hard one because of the conservation credits so uh, it's going to be very challenging to do that with you guys but i want to give it a go at least to try it out so what I'm mainly probably going to do is I'm gonna put down some polls on my community wall so you guys can vote for it. So we're not going to do it during this series so I have a little bit more freedom of how to uh, have to record a little bit beforehand. But yeah, keep an eye on my community wall for polls for the next animals in my franchise mode. So it might be that the episode you voted for will be a few episodes later. But we're just gonna try it and see if this will work out and also i really want to name the animals after you guys your youtube name so not your real name but really your youtube name so we can see in the comments during the series like oh my god that animal is named after you or after you so if you would like me to name an animal after you please do go to my community wall right now and just leave a comment there and tell me not what animal because it's gonna be too hard to decide what animals we will get in the habitat 
but at least let me know on my community wall if you want to have an animal named after you and if it should be a female or a male so I can make a list of like male names and female names and we're just going to use those names for the animals during the franchise series so I'm really looking forward to that and hopefully a lot of you guys would like me to name an animal after you and hopefully we can make sure that you guys can have a lot of babies and don't die too soon <laughs> because yes, I have noticed that the time hasn't been changed yet of the franchise mode, which is pretty much a pity. I really hope that there is a lot of feedback already. I did see that on the forums and on the Steam reviews, like a lot of people love the game, but the time is just still too fast and it didn't change it. So yeah, I honestly agree. I really hope that they will change the time and the animals that they won't age up that quick. But I do also realize that by changing the time, probably your cash flow will go really uh, a lot slower. So maybe there is some kind of engine behind it that we are not really aware of but once they slow down the days that might screw up a lot of the gameplay and it might be very hard for us to play around with so I have no idea if that is the case I honestly still just really hope that they are able to slow down the time in the game and that we can have a really nice bond with our animals so yeah we just have to wait and see for that but please do go to my community wall and tell me if you want any animals to be named after you so that's where we're going to leave this episode with the entrance of Malin Dome and after that you guys will see some cinematics we will return with like the more tour episodes in a few episodes because this is all pre-recorded so I uh, pre-recorded cinematic shots do not go too far behind but that will return obviously so I can tell you guys a little bit more and show you guys more around uh, but for now do let me know in the comment section what you guys think don't forget to go to my community wall don't forget to leave a like at the video if you enjoyed and subscribe of course if you already haven't and I just really hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys!